Hello there, folks. This quick example is going to use a method to import tags to change the pointers for tags. What I'm talking about here is in this example, I've got oh, communications. I've got some devices under a driver. I'm just picking Modbus, and I've got uh, two devices, MB1 and MB2 here. Don't worry about the IP address. It could be different, but uh, in this case, that doesn't matter. But uh, i got two devices under here. Now, if I go over to data tags, you can see here I've got just some tags here that are mapped. These five are mapped to MB1. And then I've got a group folder here. And under the group folder, I have a tag here called pointer that is going to MB1 40,100 just by doing this button here, holding registers, whatever. But I've declared this one as an array of 20 elements. And then what I've done is I've went over here and I've taken all of these. And these guys are looking at the pointer index. And the way you do that is you click on this guy over here. You go over to the left, right side, expand this, click on your pointer. Notice it's kind of purple compared to normal blue. This button right here will toggle the array to look at you see into each individual item. And all I did was drag these over here like this. And then just to show you a shortcut here, uh, if you wanted to, you can do this. I'll just show you how I did this easily. I set up one here, uh, set it up as a read-write which makes it, uh, in that case there, uh, yellow is the formula, I'll read right here is red, and then this button right here, if I click on it, this button here, smart duplicate, will automatically index down into the pointer here. So you can see I'm going from element 0, which is the first of this, which is 100, and then the rest of these would be 101, 102, and so forth, but they're all going back to this pointer. So, and then I have another group down here, which have done the same thing, which is looking at MB2, and it's going to 40,100 as well. And these tags are doing the same thing with the MB2 within this folder. Okay. So my dilemma here is uh, maybe I want to somehow uh, import a file of tags and change this reference point to something other than 100. So what I'll do here is I'll click on the data tags on top. And I'm going to click the export tag button here. Export tags. And I'll put it somewhere I can find it. And then down here. I'll call it uh, tag file, for instance. Just use that. Oops, hold on here. Let me back up. I want you to see this here. Tag right here. And I'll, I'll call this one something different. Tag uh, listing. We'll call it listing. Something totally different right here. Okay. However, down here, I want to make sure. I don't know if you can see that. Let me pull it up here. Right here. Hit this pull down. I want to make this saved as an ANSI.csv file here. So I'm going to hit save, which you can't see because I'll turn the save button right here. And now it saved the file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that directory where I saved that file. And this is the tag listing. I'm going to open this up in Excel. And let me shrink this down so you can see the whole thing here. Right there. And I'll make this a little bigger. And then I'll make this field a little wider so you can see. And this field a little wider. So what I'm saying is maybe here, this pointer here, instead of looking at uh, number 100 here, maybe I wanted to change this to look at number 200. So I'll change that to 200. And then this one down here, for instance, maybe it's going to start at number 1, 2, 3, 4, for instance. So I'll put in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to save this program or save this CSV file. Hit the Save button here. I've saved it. And then I'm going to close it. And here's what I found in Crimson uh, with this. I have to reopen this in Notepad or something. I don't know why, but if I open it in Notepad, here it is. And then if I go File, Save again, save it in Notepad. I don't know what it does different, but if I hit Save, now if I go back to Crimson, I'm going to go re-import the tag listing. And I want to see if these numbers, these pointers change. So I'll click Data Tags on top, click the Import Tag button. Go over here, make sure I'm looking for an ANSI CSV. I'm going to click the tag listing file right here. Click open. It's going to bark at you. Can't be done. Say yes. Proceed. It should have imported. And let's check our work. If we go over here, this one's now looking at 200 right there. And this one here should be looking at 1, 2, 3, 4. It is. So that's an easy way for you to change the pointers via uh, the tag import and export function. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that off to you. And the only big trick I found, I don't know why, but you got to reopen this in Notepad and save it again in Notepad. I don't know what Excel does differently in CSV, so that's the only trick I found. Maybe there's a workaround, but I'm not 
uh, savvy with all the Excel stuff. Anyway, quick show and tell there. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.